What is happening everybody? Spawn Trapped here and back with more Forza Horizon 3. Now we got a shit ton of shit to do in this video and uh, I'm still sick as a dog so hang in there with me. Uh, I got a tissue in my nose right now. My head feels like it's 100 pounds but that's not important. What is important is this game right now. So right now we got a ton of shit to do. We got all right, so let's just, I'm just going to give you the rundown. So we got a barn find to find. We got a bunch of new events just like these. We got we got barn finds to collect. We also can expand one of our festivals. And we only need to earn about 947,000 fans in order for our next showcase event. So actually, that sounds like a lot, but it's actually not a lot. So the next showcase is very, very close. And we got a bunch of other stuff to do in the meantime. So, guys, we're about to do this. And, uh, well, hopefully you guys enjoy. So, welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. And, uh, all right. So, first off, let's see. I got some progress here. We're going to go skill shop. We got, looks like, three points. And, doom, doom, doom. Uh, I think. Let's upgrade some of this stuff up here. Um. Maybe, maybe let's just stop doing instant rewards, you know what I mean, right off the bat. So, we're going to do this. Why the hell not? Let's just do it. All right. So. Da, 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 da. And one. And we got one more. And we got another one there. So, let's just upgrade. Every time we get a skill point, let's just do the lower stuff first. Then we can start earning towards the, the bigger stuff. So, right now we got two wheel spins to do. Hopefully we can get something good, but my wheel spin luck has been awful in the past. Absolutely terrible. And it's going to continue. Alright, so 5,000. Oh my god, please. Please let me get that Viper. I would... Oh my god. So two wheel spins, we walk away with 12 grand. That sucks. That is awful. That is literally... Oh boy, that is fucking terrible. Okay, so I'm telling you, my luck is just absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. So right now, we are going to go. Let's go try to find this um, this next barn find. So it's actually not too far away. We're in the Dodge. We're in the 1969 Dodge Charger today. RT, of course. And uh, if you've ever seen the first Fast and Furious, you might recognize this vehicle. So. We are hauling ass today. I think this is my favorite vehicle. Or, you know, in the game, it tells you what your favorite vehicle is by, like, the amount of time, like, um, like, the amount of drive time you have in the vehicle. So I'm pretty sure this is my favorite in the game due to drive time. So there we go. Nice drift. All right. So we're only about 3.4 miles away. We are going to find this barn find. Now, I actually looked up what other barn finds there were because I honestly had no idea what barn finds were even left. I'm just going to cut through right here. And, um, there, it's looking like there's still one barn find left that is is really a badass car. Like, really badass. So, uh, hopefully, I can, hopefully this is the one. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but uh, once we unlock it, I will grab that. Actually, there's an XP board right over here. So, before I continue, I think that's 5,000. No, it's 1,000. That's all right. That is okay, so let's grab that 1,000 XP real quick. Whenever you see one of those, you just gotta grab it, because it's just gonna help you in the long run. And hopefully I can collect all of those. And actually, I think if we rank up one more time, we're gonna get, like, an achievement or something. I don't really know, but, like, it it says, like, the next level I get to go to, it, like, lights up uh, when it shows it. So it, it, I feel like something special is gonna come with that level. I think it's level 45. I believe. I don't know why it wouldn't be 50, but that's alright. So, oh, I see another XP board up ahead as well. And you guys typically can't see that because I usually have my face cam covering the map. Uh, but since I'm sick and I have a tissue hanging out of my nose and, you know, my, I just got out of the shower. I'm, 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 I'm really looking like death here. So, I know I sound like a female, but I really am looking like death. Now, I have a feeling this is just going to be under the bridge. So, might as well just go under it before I even go over it. And where is this thing at? Probably going to be right on the other side of here. Boom, there it is. Another 1,000 XP it's looking like. And that's fine. That's fine. I'd rather take 1,000 XP any day of the week than none at all. So I'm actually... Oh, no. 
I was missing a mirror for a second on this side, but I'm not. Oh shit! Oh god! We are cruising. Cruising for a bruising. Alright, now I really doubt... I mean, this kind of helps. I'll show you the map real quick. Now, I, this kind of helps because I really doubt there's going to be a barn just in the middle of this. So it kind of limits it to this side or that side. So I'm already on the left side, so I might as well check the left side before I go across. Unless that is it right there. Because I do see some sort of... Maybe that's a rock. I don't know. I thought I saw something, but... So, basically split 50-50. Left or right, so I'm gonna check left first. Let's check all the way up on this big ass hill. Oh shit! And fuck me! I just broke every window in this damn thing. Of course! Of course! Please just get up the hill. Please just get up the hill. Six. I can't believe I just actually found it. I was literally just searching for this thing for about 25 minutes. Like 25 minutes, I fucking finally found it. I went all the way around the other way. Okay. Oh, well. but Jesus Christ, I think. Oh, man. Dune buggy, cool. This is a Myers Max. I always wanted one of these when I was a kid. Actually, I wanted a Lamborghini Countach, but I figured I couldn't take it on the beach. That thing's pretty badass. I like that. I actually might do some customization to that one. It's just different, you know? Alright, so that one is being shop. restored. But in the meantime, let's actually, let's go to the auto show because we gotta collect no the other barn finds that we already restored. So let's do that real quick, and then we could go from there. How's that? Alright guys, so we made it to the auto show, so let's just go into the garage. Let's check out barn finds. These are the ones we already have collected, of course. So we got... Two ready to collect, and then this one and this one are being done as we speak. So this one, the Doom Buggy, we just found the part stripping and cataloging. The Ferrari, rust and damage repair. And then these two are ready to collect. So let's collect this damn thing. How's that? You have to understand, this isn't just a car. This is a changing room. It's, it's a mobile surf club. It's a, it's a drive-in cinema. It's a one-bedroom flat. It's an institution. <laughs> wow. I don't think there's that much space in there, though, really. Doesn't look like it. So, now we're going to collect the Nissan Skyline, uh, which I probably don't really care about. Japanese imports out here. Being so close, it's pretty cheap and easy. Of course, it's cheaper and easy to find one in a barn, but we can't all be that lucky. Alright, that thing is pretty ugly, in my opinion. Don't really know what they're going for with that one, but all right. So I want to take a look at the one that I just got. This one. Eh. Yeah, let's just view it. Let's view car. I don't want to get in it. All right. So said it's a changing room, a drive-in cinema, a one-floor bedroom. <laughs> this thing is not all that big. It's like smaller than. It's Typical SUV, but uh, whatever, whatever, we can go with that. So, so like exit here, and actually, I did get a couple new cars. So, you saw this one in the last video. Uh, let's see, do, 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 do that one we earned in a wheel spin. Um, so, don't really care about it all too much, but it is a Horizon edition. Then, I don't know what to do with this really. I wanted it in a wheel spin. I really didn't want it in the wheel spin. So we're going to have to get rid of that one at some point. Uh, this is one of my newer ones. I got a Chevy Chevelle Super Sport 454. Uh, tune that thing up all the way. Thing is bad ass as hell. Uh, it's basically like a death machine really. Thing is absolutely insane. Uh, and then I got the Ferrari, Ferrari, Ferrari. And... Jeep. I tried to customize this because I'm a Jeep guy. I tried to customize it and make it look good, but like there's not much you could do to it really. Um, I was kind of hoping you could like take the roof off or something, but really not much you could do with that. And then I earned this one in a wheel spin, and it's just like a basic everyday like mom car. So like there's nothing really to do with that one either. Uh, don't want to drive that. Um, and 
Okay, so this is just an embarrassment, really, and then that is just ugly as hell. So I'm just going to back on the hell out of there. And I'm going to show you guys. I tried, I skipped over a car in there purposely so I could bring you guys a separate video. But right now we are going to drive to a Horizon Festival to expand it. So let's get on that. So let's see. This one all the way down here, level 5 as well. So let's see. Let's just do this one. It's a level 1. Not too far away. But actually, I don't really get the whole point of these travel discount boards. Because, like, I try to fast travel. I thought, like, once you destroy them, you can fast travel. But I destroy them all the time, and you cannot fast travel. So I just don't really understand it all that much. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is. So let's just drive to that, that festival. It's only less than six miles away. So let's do this, guys. Let's see if we can get there without totally destroying this car. Which... I don't think is going to happen, but you never know. There's always a chance. Always a chance. Oh my god, what are you doing? Some people don't know how to drive, and I don't know why I'm even talking, because I just destroyed this thing. And uh, you know you know how I told you I'm sick? You know what the worst part of being sick is? It's not it's not being in pain. It's not like, it's not the headache or the body ache. And it's not my head feels like... 40 pounds, it's not like anything like that, just like the worst part is when one of my favorite things in the world to do is eat, alright, now just food is so damn good alright, just like think about that for a second, like food is incredible, like it's so good and <laughs> so, the worst thing about being sick is once you get to the point where your nose is so clogged and shit like that and you can't taste anything that's when being sick gets a little upsetting for me uh, because I really want to eat all my favorite foods and there's just no point because I can't taste any of it so it's just really just kind of like a waste and oh I just went through a speed trap there at 187 that better give me three stars baby one two man you know like every time but I did earn 106,000 fans just for doing that so but like every time I go through a speed trap I never get more than two stars even if I'm going, I could be going like 260 miles an hour, it's like a two star, it's like I'm, it's like I'm missing something. Keep left. But yeah. So, like, that, that's a, that's basically the worst part of getting sick, really. Just not being able to taste my food, it just sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Alright, but we are 1.3 miles away, and we are burning. I'm just gonna cut through. Oh my god. Cut through, cut through, cut through. Recalculating route. Oh! Jesus Christ! What did I even hit? It's like I hit a rock and I just did a fucking front flip. Holy shit. Alright, but it is... The festival is right there. So we'll be able to expand this one to level two. Okay. And I'm very close to ranking up, so after this, I'm gonna have to do a race for you guys. That way I can rank up. And holy shit, that's some air for you. At, holy crap. Oh, don't hit that wall. Yeah, knew that was gonna happen. I don't really like this festival at all. It's like out in the middle of nowhere, and then there's a wall surrounding the whole thing. It's just, uh, you know. It's like the fifth time I've hit that wall. And then the one entrance. I wish I could just drive in from anywhere. Horizon. All right. Yeah, this one does look a lot smaller than all, all the other festivals. Dirt road and shit. You have arrived at your destination. All right, so let's expand it. Come on now. Man, what do I what what I would do for a 69 charger in real life? Two expansion is a go. I'd better call the hire company and see if there are any more road barriers left in the country. All right, so we're going to continue. And looks like we get a deal on one of these little pieces of crap. So, uh, nah, I'll pass though. I'm all set with that. Thank you very much for the offer. But uh, we are going to back out. And we're going to stick with the 69 Charger for right now. And looks like we're going to unlock some new stuff with the Festival Expansion, which is awesome. So, that's right there. PR stunt, right there. Boom, perfect. Let's just get there right now. And uh, that should rank us up. Definitely. So, turn right. There, there's a train. Uh, to the bonus board. 
No, I don't really know what the hell that even means. Where am I even going? Turn right. In 400 yards, turn right. I did not even hit that tree. Come on, man. Come on, you're getting in the way. You're getting in my damn way. I can really go for some ice cream and yogurt right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Somebody send me some. Very much appreciated. All right. Oh shit. We cutting through, yeah. There's some drift action, and it's all over. Oh, okay, maybe not. Arrived at your destination. Roads driven, 293 out of 488. I feel like if you just beat the game, then that most of that will be done. And this is easy difficulty, so should be able to rank up here, no problem. Let's see what we gotta do. Go, go off a jump. Take a glorious morning drive in pure luxury. Rolls Royce, okay. Race to the destination. Five miles away. In 100 yards, turn right. In 400 yards, turn left. All right, so we got, how long we got? We got four minutes to go five miles, so. See if I can do this. I mean, it says it's easy, so. I'm assuming it's gonna be easy. Look at this Rolls Royce. We are just blasting this thing through fences and shit. <laughs> Keep right. Let's cut right through here. I'm just gonna hit up the road. No problem. Booyah, baby. We out. We out this bitch. All right. Now I feel like this is gonna help me drive on some roads I've never driven on before. Cause I don't come out. Oh no, I've driven on here before. Never mind. I know exactly where we had to go. You already drove 1.3 miles in under a minute, so should not be too hard at all. Man, this thing is flying. I mean, for what it is, anyways. I've never seen a Rolls Royce go for like 20 miles an hour because they're always just like slowly rolling to like show off. So that's a, that's a thing that bugs me. You ever see like like a video of like somebody famous? Uh, maybe not famous, but like, you see, you ever see like them, I don't know, I don't know how I'm trying to word this. So have you ever seen a video of like a really nice, like super hyper car that's like just rolling at like one mile an hour everywhere it goes, like around corners, fucking, I mean, I know they're expensive, you don't want to crash them, but like, I always see like a video of like, oh, they just, they, the, the new Bugatti goes 540 miles an hour and then I never I don't see it going over 10 because everyone just it, it's basically they just built it just to look at it I'm like why do you build a car that goes so fast to not even like they're just rolling it around parking lots taking it off trucks just rolling it wicked slow so so people can look at it, it kind of just defeats the purpose of all the money you just put into it you know what I mean like, I'm, I'm, like, underestimating how much that annoys me. Like, I'll, I'll pr probably explain that in another video, but, like, it's, it's, it's a little ridiculous. It's a little ridiculous. Like, famous people to be in, like, their wicked, expensive, fast Lamborghini or whatever, and then, like, they'll stick their head out to, like, talk to somebody, and then they'll roll away. At, they'll put their window back up and roll away at, like, 0.2 miles an hour and just roll. It's like, how, how fun can that be, possibly? How fun could that be? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we blew this thing out in about three minutes or so, so no problem in boom, two minutes and fifty-eight seconds, and we just wiped into the side of a house. But that got us some CR, some XP, that should rank us up, no problem. Absolutely to 45. See what I mean by it's like glowing. Please give me a viper, please give me a viper, please give me a viper. Okay. Again, not a viper, and not 75,000, that's right above it, 10,000. I just have the absolute worst luck with wheel spins, it's just ridiculous, it's nuts. I have awful luck with these damn things. So we need less than 200 more roads to, to drive on all of them. Come on now. 
Time spent in first place, one hour, 30 minutes, 30.58 seconds. Over an hour and a half in first place. You already know, that's what I do, baby. That's what I do. All right, so, undiscovered PR stunt right there. And then from there, we can do some more stuff. So, let's just head to that PR stunt and see what is in store for us. Yards. Turn left. I would like to find a couple more 20,000 uh, XP boards just laying around. I found uh, like two of them earlier, I think. That's why I've been ranking up so fast. I just keep finding XP boards. And what the hell? Oh, wonder why I'm hitting, why this thing's bouncing all over the place. It's like big ass whoops. So, thing is, says it's a mile and a half away, but it's only right over this hill, so. We're about to hit many, many trees. Oh my god. Oh sweet Jesus, sweet. Buttery. Jesus. Through the fence. Don't hit the tree. Holy shit, I can't believe I did not crash back there. I'm probably gonna crash up here, but back there, that was nuts. Alright, so this looks like a drift zone. It is a drift zone, okay. Drift zones are easy, for the most part. Typically, I never go hard on them. I just go to get one star, and then you earn about 100,000 fans for getting a single star, so. And we did earn a skill point there as well, so. Typically, we need, like, 5,000. Like, 5,000 points for, like, for, to get, like, a star, so. Let's see what we get out of this one now. And... Looks like we got about 30,000. So let's just go through the end of it here. 30,508. New personal best. And we got two stars. See what I mean? Never get three stars for anything. Only the two. But that's alright. So there's another PR stunt right over there. Right over there. So we earned 106,000 fans. So we need less than 500,000 more fans. So that's like four or five events. We'll be able to do a showcase event for you guys, and I will do that in this video. I'm just gonna fast forward to the holy shit balls. Alright, guys, so I'm actually gonna continue this championship that I started a long time ago that I never even completed. Now, I've been wondering what happened to this, and I just kind of forgot about it. Uh, I just bet, got so busy doing everything else. But yeah, so this is a championship. So, this championship has a bunch of races in it, but then the final race, it pays off pretty well. So. We got a big ass truck right here. Holy shit, that thing is monstrous, but it ain't fast. So we're just gonna go right past that. We got the Dodge Dart. Get the hell out of the way, baby. I'm gonna spin your ass out. So this is not a circuit race, which is good because I don't really like circuit races. They're all like kind of the same. Just do three laps and they kind of, eh, I don't know. It's not very fun. So I like doing this one because it shows the progress and it shows you how close you are to being finished. And can you get out of the way? Why is there a 4 GT there? That is not from the 60s. I'm pretty sure this is like a 60. Uh, oh, there was a 4 GT that came out in the 60s, but it's like it's like way more expensive than the newer ones. Yeah, so never mind. I'm talking out of my own ass here. This Dodge Dart is always in first. Every time I do like a 60s muscle car race, this, this orange Dodge Dart is always just taken off. But it's not about the start. It's about the finish, baby. And you already know who comes in first every day and time. So. Get the hell out of my way. I'm going to shove you into the wall, baby. Come on. Come on. What you got? Oh, looking the wrong way. What you got? What you got? Dang. All right. Don't hit the wall. I hit the wall. That's fine, too. That's fine. So, this race involves a lot of random turns all over this place, but that's all right. Oh, shit. Take that sign out, bitch. Alright, I see the finish. <laughs> but we're only about 60% through this one. Alright. So again, guys, I'm sorry that I haven't really been doing too much else on my channel besides Forza. Again, this, this game is just like a lot easier on me while I'm sick, you know? It's just easier to concentrate, easier to play than like Call of Duty or Doom or something like that, so... So, I will get back to the other games once I start to feel better, and uh, we can have a good time with that. Now, I wanted to actually go back and start playing some... Wow. 
That was just, that was just stupid. That was just literally stupid. Now, I wanted to go back and start playing some of the older Call of Duties, because they're, they're just more fun to me, you know? So, um, stay tuned for that. I would say, uh, I would say comment which Call of Duty you want me to play, but like, if you're watching a Forza video, you're probably not thinking about Call of Duty, you know what I mean? So, we're about to finish this up, one up right here, guys, and we're gonna slide through, just in style. We're gonna slide through, that puts us in first place on this championship race, and we won by a whopping about six seconds. I'll take that any damn day of the week. That one's actually pretty cool, it's got a pretty cool paint job on it. So, rewards, not really important, just want to know about the XP, because I want to get to that showcase, and we're almost level 46, halfway there. Halfway there. Alright, so we need about 260,000 more fans, so we could do that in no time, really. Alright, everybody, we are going to continue this championship race, so we're going to be doing the tug and bypass sprint, so we're just continuing this championship up. And uh, hopefully we'll finish this championship in the video, and then we will be good. And we'll have the... What am I looking for? What am I looking to say here? After we finish up this championship, then we'll have enough fans to do the uh, next showcase. That's what I'm trying to say. And we are burning right now. Look at this shit. Holy fuck. We're going 180. We're going 180. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Look at the speed. I'm a fucking monster. I'm a monster. Oh! That hurts. That hurts a lot. That hurts big time. So, went from first to about fifth. Because that this red car in front of me is ugly as hell. What the hell was that? What a piece of junk. It's probably worth fucking three million, but it's still ugly as hell. I don't know why you'd spend so much money on an ugly ass car. <laughs> like the Audi R8. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm gonna keep on flying in the Dodge Charger today. Definitely my cut, my go-to 60s muscle car. Also have the Superbird, which is the the 1969 Dodge Daytona, which was a NASCAR car, but for some reason it's a lot slower than this one. Um, I don't know why NASCAR want slower cars back then, but I mean it is what it is. Maybe because it's got a big wing on it. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we are gonna. Oh, we're sliding to the DMs just like that. All right. So, let's make this quick U-turn here. We're, oh, oh, wow, we're already 54% through this race. Holy shit. All right, can you get off me? This wall just like, the walls like to stick to me for some reason. All right. Oh, and the can cut through here. There we go. All right, 60% done. Let's do this one. Oh, man. I feel like I've done this before, but I definitely haven't, because I'm just continuing the championship, uh, whatever race it tells me to go to. So, I've probably done this race, but not for the... Ch oh, yeah, that's what it is. I've done the race, but not for the championship. I've done it as an exhibition race before. Now, I like at the end of every race that I always have the most messed up car in the entire lot, in, like, the entire lot of cars. Might always just get smashed up, because I don't really care. I just go flying into walls. Sometimes walls help you. They will help you. Uh, if you take advantage of them correctly, they will help you bounce you right into first place. So, <laughs> that's what I've learned over the years. So watch this. Like, it tells me to slow down. I'm not slowing down. I'm just gonna bounce off the wall just like that. Whoa! We're just like that. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna finish this race right in first place. Right where you wanna be. So, boom. That's another one. I just flew through, through there. First place, that is what I'm talking about. So we're just gonna continue to the next one. And uh, let's see how close we are to the showcase. Championship complete. There we go. Three events, 12.1 miles, Surface Paradise, 60 sprinters. Okay, I did not know we were going to finish it right now. But, earned 10,000 CR finishing. XP, that's what's most important to me. And, oh no, no, it's not. It's fans. So we are very close to ranking up, anyways. And then, let's see, this is what I want. Boom! Just because we completed that, showcase event is ready. So, uh, festival expansion will come in over 1.3 million fans, but the showcase is going to help us out uh, a lot. So, we're going to have to do that, guys. And actually, uh, let's see what happens right now. Hey, Dawn. 
I just got off the phone with the Horizon people. They must think we're getting too big for our boots. Your next showcase opponent is approaching the coast at about 700 miles per hour. This is the spot when you're ready to meet it. Holy shit. That's just, that's just a little crazy. So, <laughs> looks like in the past we've raced, you know, different kinds. Turn around. We've raced uh, power boats. We've raced trains. Um, Keep right. I don't remember if we've ever, ever done another showcase, but we've raced a bunch of stuff just like that. And now it looks like we're going to be racing a jet. <laughs> That's a little crazy. I know I'm going the wrong way here, but there is an XP board that popped up on the map that I did not get yet. So I just want to go grab this XP board and then it might be able to, if it's enough, I think we need 1300 to rank up. But uh, maybe if it's a 5000 XP board, that will def definitely rank us up. And even if it's not, the 1,000 XP will get us close enough. So, let's just run over here. Let's grab this XP board quickly. And it's probably going to be on... No, oh, okay, boom. 1,000 XP. That's cool. That's good enough. Now, actually, guys, this video is getting a little lengthy. So, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end this video right here, actually. Um, but we did an, a festival expansion. And actually... We did do a festival expansion in this video, and we got to collect a couple barn find cars, and we got to find a barn find of our own. Now, actually, one of those barn finds is actually ready to pick up, so we're going to do that right now. And then after I pick up this barn find, then I'm going to end the video because uh, I'm going to actually start off the next video with the showcase. So let's do this barn find. Let's collect it. Let's see what is there to collect. The Myers Manx. The thing was ready quick. So this one... Chassis straightening and panel alignment is still getting fixed up right now. So let's collect this barn find. Only a one and let's see how it looks. Liter engine, but a full fiberglass body, so it weighs nothing. Should go like the clappers. And it's street legal. <laughs> what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Alright, so. I think it's pretty sweet. I think it's pretty sweet. I'm actually gonna see what I could do to that thing. Let's see if we can customize it up a little bit. I mean, why not? Let's get in the car. Alright, so we're going to do a custom upgrade. Actually, there we go. So let's see, what, what, what can we do with the front of this thing? That looks like some teeth. That Okay, so that just like removes it really. Don't even tell me you can put a wing on this thing. Oh, whoa. Put big roll bars on the thing. Or nothing at all, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, so let's see. Rear bumper. Oh, shit. It's pretty badass right there, too. Side skirts. That's pretty sweet. It's like a little step. Except this, I've, I've been in one of those things before. They're, they're so short, you don't even need that. So, Man, I don't really know what the... I don't, I don't like, like the way that looks. Um, but I do like that roll bar a little bit. But at the same time, it kind of looks like just too much. Uh, so I think... Okay, let's do... I don't know. I don't know. Let's do that, I guess. Let's just take it off. To the front. Let's do that. There we go. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. The rims are important. Now, let's make them wide, because you can actually see them, so that's kind of cool now. Not like all the other vehicles, you can't really see them, so let's make those things freaking wide. As hell. And then, put some custom rims on this bad boy, huh? <laughs> I'm thinking maybe these. <laughs> I don't really get what that is, though. Is that like a piece of like plastic over the... I don't even know. That's just a stupid concept to me, really. It really is. Now, I think I should make this thing yellow. And I think with that, it would make it look pretty good. I'm not going to lie. So, let's do this. Let's just do, like, the second. Second to highest one. There we go. I like that a little bit. We're not going to put race on it. Rally, no. Sport, no. 
Let's just keep it at what it's at. That looks good. So we're going to throw that one on there. And then... So we're going to throw that setup on. It only costs 13800 Come on now. Alright, so then... Let's go down here. Designs and paints. Actually, let me see what kind of designs they have for this thing. Maybe, maybe there'll be something nice. Looks like they got a bunch of kooky designs for this motherfucker. Oh, that one's pretty sweet. It's just got a little Nike Nike swoosh on the side. It's pretty badass. I don't know what that is, but on the front there, but that's pretty cool. The watermelon. I really do like that Nike logo. I think the Nike logo makes anything look better, really. But uh, let's just go back, and then let's just go to paint car. This way it'd be a lot easier. And then let's just make the thing yellow, you know what I mean? Let's just make it yellow. Yeah, hell yeah. Looks pretty sweet. Looks pretty sweet, so let's do that. Hood. Oh wait, should we make the hood black? Kind of mix in. I think we should make it mix in with, with that. It doesn't even have mirrors. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's going to stay. Doesn't even have windows. So, no. And then rims. You can make them any color you want, but I'm going to leave them with the black and the yellow. And I think we're going to save that. And that's just going to be that, really. Looks a little better than it was, or than it did. And uh, it's ready to drive on the damn beach. That's pretty cool because we got it for free too, and we only put about we didn't really put too much into it. Let's go back. Actually, let's see how much it is to upgrade this this bad boy. All right. It's like if we could like tune up the engine, you know what I mean? Oh shit, we can make this thing fast, huh? Yeah, that's ten horsepower. We're going to give this thing the works, huh? Now, I like upgrading the engine all the way up for, like, all my cars. But something like this. <laughs> I mean, I guess I did it for the three-wheeler, too, so I guess it works. Just making that thing... Making this thing just, like, the baddest golf cart you could ever see, really. Brakes. Brakes should be alright. Springs and dampers. Make it think low as it goes. But I like it where it's at. Weight reduction, no thanks. Drive train. Turn all these all the way up. Except some of them make it harder. I don't think that's worth it, really. Yeah, let's do that. Differential. Yeah, that's good. Alright. So, I mean, that works. Tires and rims, I already did that shit. Conversion, don't need to convert anything. So, that's going to be 32700 but that's not bad. Just tune that thing up all the way and it's going to be a monster now. It's going to be absolute monster, so. I think it looks pretty sweet too. <laughs> it really does. So, let's go Forza Vista, actually. Now we can just take a look at this thing. So, it's got like, I mean, it, it blends pretty well. I mean, it's got the, the black hood the black seats, and then the black side and the black wing, and then it's got the yellow top, yellow interior there on, you know, just the plastic, and then the yellow around the rims. I think it looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. So, but uh, I'm gonna end this video right here, guys. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you guys so much. And uh, in the next video, we're going to do that showcase event where apparently we're gonna raise a jet. So, uh, <laughs> So just look forward for that one, guys. And uh, this is all I got for you today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we got a couple barn finds. We customized a barn find. We went and found a barn find. We upgraded a festival. Did a couple races. Uh, now it's getting a little lengthy. So I'm going to have to cut it down for you guys. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Spawn Trapped here. See you guys on the next one.